if you're right. Can you exit the building? Yeah, I can exit the building. Huh. Okay. I can never exit the building when that problem, when I have that problem. It's like going to the VAB here. Exit. VAB. Oh, I see what happened. Hmm. All of, like, everything became unselected in the filter screen. Oh. Weird. Uh, so. So yeah, so we'll just board the Duna probe again. Huh. What? It's not showing an encounter now. That's weird. Does that sometimes. All right. So, well, crap. What am I? How to, uh... Why does it say that the Duna probe? Oh, because I boarded the debris. That is why. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh. never check the debris box. But we'll just delete the debris. Well, the game will just delete the debris on its own in like five minutes. <laughs> Uncheck debris. Doing a deep space probe. You know, there's a section of an Apollo module continuously uh, orbiting uh, the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How'd that happen? Um... It just, uh... It was, like, in, like, the right place during a, uh... An injection burn or something, you know, they, you know, between mm -hmm. a uh, trans lunar uh, injection burn or something. I don't think it was anything having to do with Apollo thirteen. I think I would have that particular fact would have stood out more. But there's like a handful of like man made objects that are in solar orbit, and most of them like one of them is like a failed Russian probe or something. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, there we go. There's my encounter. Do not encounter. How do I? Is it like a right? No, it's not a right click interface. How do I just alarm click clock? on the click on the alarm clock button? Okay. Click the add new alarm button. Add new alarm. Okay. Um, and then there should be like a sphere of influence. Although usually what I do is I just add a maneuver further out than the sphere of influence so that it gives us a little bit more leeway. Okay. And then make the alarm for when the maneuver is, not for when the sphere of influence changes. Okay. Okay.
All right. Got a lot in. Oh, there it is. Okay. I've got all these other alarms in here that I think have expired. Probably. Are they like grayed out? Yeah. Yeah, you can just delete them. That's what we're doing. This is not ideal. You know, like I, I like rarely get sick, and like this is like the second time I've been like sick like this in like the past couple of, like three months or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think my immune system might be like going. It's like the <laughs> one like good genetic, like positive that I had was the fact that I had a decent immune system. Like in college, like you know, people would be like dying and coughing around me, and I'd be like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" Ah, uh... all right. So I'm back here at the uh, Kerbin Space Center. Any other? Uh... Craft we want to try to get out there? Um, the lander, one of the, la any of the landers could go. Yeah, we'll hit up the test lander one here. Maybe we'll do a better job of getting this guy in orbit as well. Oh, I have to fly it first before I can set up new for him. <laughs> Ugh. Today, kids, we're going to learn how to play Kerbill 101. The basics. This is the <laughs> this is the sky. This is the planet. All right. So, all right. This does have solar panels out and everything. Let me turn the SAS on. It's got full electric charge. Ooh, there's an asteroid coming within uh, within the orbit of uh, Minmus. It happens. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Doubtful if they don't do any damage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You've seen like people that have like flown them into the planet and like nothing happens. They just like yep. float there. <laughs> All right. So again, what I thought it was a thirty-five degree angle. You know what, let's just do a 168 degree angle. Just, no, I didn't want to set anything as target. No, actually, I actually want to set Duna as target. I'm going to guess that 168 is the degree at which we're entering. Probably. It's called the yeah. It's called the insert. That's the transfer angle. I don't know. Yeah. Now we gotta reset this thing up. All right. Let's just give this a shot. That 168, that does kind of, you know, launch us. What are you doing, thing? Just 
stabilize. Yeah, but that you know, I was right. That launched us backwards. Mm -hmm. So that slowed us down. We don't want to slow yeah. down. Because anything beyond 90 would slow us down. Mm -hmm. Not anything beyond 90. Anything between like 90 and... Well, yeah. 90 and... And through the, 270. Yeah. Actually, no, 168 shouldn't slow you down either. I don't think. Because that's not a backward... You're not burning retrograde to the planet at 168 yet, are you? I don't think so. No, but at that point in time, it's like a vector. Yeah. So a bulk of it... You're more burning, like, radially. Yeah. Why is my orbit getting tighter as I increase my... I don't get this. Why is my orbit getting... As I increase my prograde, why is my orbit getting tighter? Have I gone completely crazy, done this backwards? That is... I don't I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think I uh <clears throat> I was backwards. I got a Duna encounter, but it's much, much later. Like 420 days later. So obviously that's a too shallow of an angle. Because I have to use a lot of... I... What's your problem? It's pulling up a different, like, UI when I click on the maneuver node. It's pissing me off. It's probably... Um, with the little blue circles, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the add an orbit button. Okay, this hasn't been the cleanest rendezvous I've ever had, but it'll it'll work. Oh booyah. This 
That's how you do it, kids, I think. Maybe. I can't <laughs> tell Duna Periapsis, 32 million miles. There we go. That's that's how we'll do that right off the bat. Yeah, this this ship has a uh, total delta V of thirty five hundred. Again, it only needs to get there. Thirty five hundred sure. is enough. I mean, it only needs like fifteen to get there. Yep. Needs to get there, and it needs to be able to rendezvous once it's there. All right, so let's uh, we'll manually. Okay, let's point towards our target, and then we're gonna jettison this stage. Yeah, that's close enough. Fire up the next stage and burn towards the target. All right, intersect is down to two. I'd like to get that a little bit closer. 1.5. And we gotta bring it around a retrograde. Okay. One point five kilometers. All right, starting burn in five seconds. Go for burn. Oh, these engines are a lot slower than the other ones I was using. This burn time is a lot longer. <laughs> All right, point back towards the target again. Let's drop the gimbal on these guys. So my shaking stops. I have to drop the gimbal. I need to... I'm not sure that it's the engines are slower. It's that that whole thing is heavier. True. Like a lot heavier. Wait a minute, why is my Delta V going up? Hmm? My Delta v, my Delta V required is going up. Did you pass your maneuver? Well, actually I just passed it right now. And it's still going up. It was never going down. I don't know. This makes no sense. Wait a minute. How the hell did I'm flying prograde? What happened? My the it's gonna crash into Kerbin. Were you Did your your maneuver didn't like plow through the planet, did it? <laughs> what? Your maneuver didn't have you like cutting your orbit short, did it? Like, what do you mean cutting? Burning towards the surface of the planet. No. I. <coughs> like my, I'm gonna. 
impact the planet because like everything was going down even though every I, I well shit <laughs>